Miguel and took them and washed their wounds. Then, and then immediately he and all his household were baptized. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he made his only begin son that whoever believes him should not perish but have to the Lord. Lord. It says Lord. Yes, Amen. yes. Amen. Psalms chapter 9, verse 2. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of my, your name, O Must High. <coughs>
Matthew 10, verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth, loseth his life for my sake shall find it. All right, <clears throat> got a question for you. I have a question. Who likes to take a bath or a shower? Raise, raise your hand if you do. That's a what question? A weird question? <laughs> Why do we take a bath or a shower? Because we get smelly and we get clean, you're right. Right? After you, t after you take a bath or a shower, how do you feel? You feel good? You smell good? Maybe you feel cold, but you feel good, right? You feel clean? Cold? Maybe, right? But you feel a bit better, right? Maybe, maybe you've been out sweating and playing, and you, and you take a shower or a bath, and you just feel so much better, right? You feel fresh. You feel fresh. That's a good guess. You feel fresh. You know the Bible talks about that we need to wash our heart, right? And do we, how do we wash our heart? Do we got to reach in here and grab it and take it out and clean it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be good, would it, right? But you know, there's a lot of verses that talk about our heart being clean, but one of those is in Psalm, right? I'm going to read a verse in Psalm 51, and I'm going to read verse, uh, just verse 7, and I'm going to read verse 10. So listen carefully, right? Because just as important as taking a bath or a shower for your health, you feel clean, Right? The Bible tells us that we need to have a clean heart. So, in Psalm 51, I read this up. It says in verse 7, Purify me from my sins, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. And then in verse 10, if we go a few verses down, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Now, how do we have a clean heart? How do we have a clean heart? Yeah. Right, so what do we have to do? Right, we have to pray to God and we can say, God, forgive me, right? It's hard to say I'm sorry, isn't it? It's hard to say I'm sorry. It's hard to say, hey, I shouldn't have done that or I, I did something wrong. It's hard for people. It's in our nature. It's difficult to do that. But we need to pray and say, just as, just as much as... Maybe daily or a couple times a day or maybe every other day. You take a shower or a bath every day. We need to be praying that God would cleanse our heart, right? That we, we then tell him we're sorry for what we've done. And he hears us and he does clean our, cleanse our heart. Yes. I can't hear you. How does help? Well, I mean, our heart really is what directs everything we do, right? Our heart is our, is our life. So our heart then causes us to talk and use our voices and use our lives and use our body, right? And so we have to use our voices, but out of our heart is where everything flows. Out of our hearts is where everything comes. And so in our hearts, right, we can have, we can be convicted. It's a big word, but convicted means I realize I've done something wrong and I need to tell God, Right? Just like when you smell yourself, right? You smell yourself? Okay, oh, I need a shower or a bath. Your heart tells you, right, when you've done something wrong against God, we have to, we have to ask for forgiveness, all right? Let's pray, and we're going to go to class. Me. 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 Stop saying. Lord, thank you for this blessing. Give us... Thank you for giving us this church. Give us spirit. Give us mind. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.